today we're going to unbox the Alma BB. So I got this bag at Louis Vuitton Greenbelt 3. This is the newly opened LV store, flagship store in the Philippines. So this is the new paper bag of LV. And if we turn it around, we have this nice design here. And let's see what's inside. So it comes in a nice big orange box and you have a blue ribbon here this box is collapsible for easy storage Ta -da! when you open the box it comes in a nicely wrapped dust bag to keep it from damage so here is this little beauty The Alma bag was originally made for Coco Chanel as a custom order. Coco eventually gave permission to produce the bag for the public later on. This is one of the most iconic bags of Louis Vuitton. It features bold architectural lines. It also features this iconic leather twin handle. They call this the Tron. It has sturdy studs. To protect the material from scratches and dirt. This is also made of leather. So inside you will see a strap. The strap drop is 22 inches. The strap is removable but it is not adjustable. Some vloggers do not like the length of the strap of the Alma BB but personally for me it fits me perfectly. It also comes with a card that tells you what the material is made of and also this uh, material number code and it also comes with it also comes with a lock and a key holder and you'll find the keys inside there you go I asked my SA to put a hot stamp on it the hot stamping is for free. I had the privilege of watching how it is done. I will show you some video clips of it. is made of canvas in the Mie bin and the handles crossbody strap and the bottom trim are made of cowhide leather the inner lining is absolutely gorgeous in classic red it has one little pocket on the side I was choosing between an Alma BB and a speedy bandolier in monogram I chose the Alma BB because it looks better on me than the Speedy Bandolier in Monogram. I also have an unboxing of the Speedy Bandolier 25 in the Mie Eben. You might also like to check it out. I will link the video down below. So let's see what fits inside. <laughs> It fits nicely when I remove the shades. So I think it fits a lot. Now I'm going. 
going to try to use a bag organizer to keep the bag clean inside and let's see what fits inside. the hardware the handles everything looks perfect and high quality as for the date codes newer versions of Louis Vuitton bags don't have date codes anymore instead they have chips so we use the NFC tools to determine where the chip is located and look for the serial number of the bag there it is it's at the bottom Oh, it's near the leather trim so these are the details of the bag so from there you will know if your bag is authentic or not is this worth it yes and no no if you are not a bag person no if you do not appreciate luxury but it is a yes if you love bags Yes, because it is a good price range for a luxury bag. Yes, because this is a good starter bag. And for sure, this will increase in price again this year. After all, at the end of the day, whether we admit it or not, we pay for the Louis Vuitton name. I think this bag is worth it. The coated canvas is extremely durable and sturdy. Leather bags are much harder to take care of, especially lambskin. The point is, when buying luxury bags, think of your current lifestyle. If you can afford to buy all the luxury bags, that's great. But if you're like me who tries to keep luxury bags at minimal level and just likes to use everyday bags, think what the bag is made of. For me, I tend to gravitate to carefree, no fuss sling bags. So a uh, Louis Vuitton canvas sling bag is perfect for my lifestyle. I would like to thank my SA Aliyah for helping me get this bag and for the goodies she gave me on my last visit. You may check her Instagram account if you want to get something from the Louis Vuitton Green Belt. There are also Alma BBs in monogram, monogram Bernice leather, Epi leather, monogram and prompt leather. They differ in price. You can check the Louis Vuitton website or ask your SA for prices. I hope this vlog is helpful to you if you're trying to decide whether to get an Alma BB or not. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I will try to answer them. See you on my next vlog. Bye-bye!